Well, howdy, everybody. We are in week four. Uh, this week we have three assignments. One is a regular assignment. The other two are what we call exam assignments. Um, I'm just going to touch on those really quick. Um, the exam performance assignment, uh, you're supposed to replicate this document. Um, it's important to note that this is like an exam. You're not supposed. To, I'm not supposed to kind of give you direct instructions on this. If you have questions, you can reach out to me and I can help you out, but I'm not going to be doing a video on this one. And then there's the application. And this one's, I call this one a gimme. This is an easy one. You're just going to write some information down, um, select some skills that you're going to use in the document and submit it. It's really easy. Uh, so this week's assignment is the navigation assignment. I'm going to try and get through this one in less than five minutes. We'll see if we can during our speed round. But basically, you're combining two different documents together, adding some uh, navigation, some URL links uh, to websites. Remember, here's the instructions. Here's the rubric. That's what I'm going to grain off of. So I am going to dig right in. So the document we want to emulate is this one. And I'm going to put this one over to the side so I can see it. It's going to be off of your screen. You can't see it. Uh, but here's our one of our original documents. You're going to have two. You'll have part one and part two. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the documents. One thing I want to do is go to the end of the document. So I'm now at the end. You go to insert. We're going to go to object. And then we're going to use text from file. Then we get the window that opens up asking us where this file is. And I'm going to select it from my week four folder. And here's that part two document. I'm going to select that one. And hey, magically, that text from that second document has now appeared. One thing that I'm going to do while I'm here is get everything on the same font. So I'm going to do a control A. And I'm going to choose Calibri. Now everything is in the same font. May not be the same size, but you can see that this is now font size 12. I want all my size, all my text except for the headers and the uh, bookmarks to be the same size. So these I need to change to 12. I'm going to need to change this to 12. All right, so now we've got that done. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is, next thing I'm going to do is take this. I'm going to what's called Control X. Or I'm going to cut it. And then our original document had this as a second sentence after this. So I'm going to say click here to view training on how to conduct a teacher council meeting. All right. And then I'm going to put in a link. It says click here to view training. So I'm going to highlight that text. Here's a really simple way to put in a hyperlink. Highlight the text, right click, and then there's an option for link. Uh, you can either click the word link or you can click this little arrow. The arrow is going to show me things that I've copied before. But here's that link that I took from the top of the page. So I'm going to put that there. And hey, magically it turned into a link. So we've got that one done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a title onto this one called Teacher Training. Because that was part of our original document. And I'll drag that over here so you can see it. Teacher Training. That's what I want to emulate. So put this off to the side. I'm going to make this a heading, a heading one. You notice here in the styles, I can make it a different type of heading, but I want it heading one. And then part of our instructions say they want to create a bookmark. So I'm going to scroll up here, find out I need to put a bookmark at the beginning of some of these sections. So this first one is going to be a bookmark titled teacher at the beginning of the document. So to insert a bookmark, you go to insert, and then you go to bookmark, and then put the name. I want the name teacher, and click add. So that adds a bookmark to that section. Another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to change the margins. I know the top needs to be five. I'm going to do one inch for the rest of the document. You notice I put ones and all those, and now everything is uh, pushed over. I'm going to give you a really nice tip. These bullets sometimes get totally messed up uh, when you're doing some of these things. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just backspace these bullets out of here. So I'll put my cursor there and I hit backspace and that clears those out. And then I'm going to reinsert those bullets. And you notice the, that text now gets pushed over, which is what we want. Okay. And you can see from the original document, that's what we had here. It pushed those over. All right. Then we have headings. These are going to be secondary headings. So I'm going to choose heading two. And you notice my heading two is kind of messy. Um, I'm not going to modify it right now. I'm just going to use heading three because that's good enough. And I'm going to put an extra space in there. And if I look at my uh, sample document, the next one is who should attend. I'm going to put an extra carriage return or enter. After that one, I'm going to make that a heading three as well. And put another one there. We're going to go heading three on this one again, hit enter. And I know that these are headings because the original document showed them as headings. You can see that they're formatted a little bit differently here. So, all right, we're doing pretty well. looks like everything is matching up pretty closely. Um, I've got my headings. I'm down to this next section here. I'm going to put a carriage return after that one. And then I'm going to clean up these bullet points. Remember again, these kind of don't come out very clean. So what I'm doing is just removing them and adding them back in. You may not have to do that. Um, I'm doing it because it just kind of got messed up on my side. So now I'm done with those. Those are all cleaned up. I'm going to make sure there's a carriage return after this one. And I noticed there is a link here to teach teaching the savior's way. So in the original instructions, this is the link that we're going to pull from. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose copy link address. I'm going to go back into this document and I'm going to put the sentence, click here to go to the teaching in the savior's way section. So I'm going to drag this over here so I can see it while I'm typing. Click here to go to the Teaching the errors way section. And I'm going to highlight all of that text. I'm going to make it a link. So I'm going to click that and show you what this window looks like. I'm going to paste that in there. And now I've got that. So now we those. Notice that we're getting really close here. Uh, that is the end of this one. I'm going to, now I need to, head, you notice this next part goes into another page. So I'm going to insert. Actually, I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to add a break and I want a section break, but I want this to be on the next page. So you do that and it bumps it over to the next page. And now I need to clean up the headings on this one. So this one's actually going to be a heading uh, one because this is a main heading. And then this one is going to be a heading three. You notice it kind of squished it down to a different size. That's good need to add a carriage return there. And then how did he live? That's right there. I'm going to make that one a heading three as well. And then the next thing that we're going to do is add in all of our um, hyperlinks uh, to the scriptures. So you notice there's actually four here. You can do three of them. You can do all four if you want. Highlight the text. And then I pulled up LDS uh, Church of Jesus Christ.org. You can actually just do a search. So the first one is John 14 6. So if I hit a search and I go John 14 6, hit enter, uh, magically pulls up um, different sections of John. Was it was at 14 6. Try that again, John 14, 6. I had to pause there for a second because I thought I was doing something wrong. So when you do the search, John 14, 6, hit enter, it's going to bring up all the results. But what you want is to go to scriptures. And here's that top one. It's going to take you right to John 14, 6. So I'm going to right click on that and choose copy link address. And I'm going to come back here. I'm going to right click on that text that I've highlighted. I'm going to insert that link. So now I've got a link to John 14, 6. And then we would do the same for Luke 4, 
Luke 4, 14. 14, if I could type right. There's our link, copy that link address. I'm not gonna do the last one for time's sake. And so we're getting really close to having this looking exactly the same way. Uh, there's a couple extra bookmarks that you're gonna need to add in there, but remember I showed you how to do the bookmarks. Uh, just go to where you wanna put in the bookmark, go to insert and then bookmark. And then what we are going to do is we are going to add a page border. The instruction said a three point. So I'm gonna to go to three point gray. So it's anything in this column. You can have a dark gray, you can have a light gray, whatever you want. Um, and I'm gonna make a box, click okay. And look, it magically put the border around everything. Let's look at our original document here, our example document. Scroll down. The one thing that I'm missing is page numbers, okay? I usually do these last because I want to make sure my pages are all there. Here's a little tip. Um, you can double, you notice I, if I click here at the bottom of the document, it doesn't do anything. If I double click, it all of a sudden opens up the header and footer formatting. So now that I'm in the footer, I can come up here to page number. I want it to be the bottom of the page. And it's gonna give you an example. And I want to be centered at the bottom of the page. And now it's centered on the bottom of the page. I don't want different odd and even pages. I want them all to be the same. So now if you double click, you get to the headers and footers section. If you double click out, it takes you back into the regular document. And so if I scroll down, I should see page numbers now for all of my pages. All right, let's compare. We have our original. And we have the new one. All right, those the, some tips and tricks for you again to get out of the header and footers. You double click, and double click to go out. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Uh, I look forward to discussing stuff with you in the discussion boards. Take care.